So I've always been interested in the benefits of fasting, but I never really felt that I had the willpower to completely cut out eating for an extended period of time. But when I learned that you could basically eat a low calorie, vegan keto type of diet and still reap all the benefits of fasting, I became very interested. And this type of diet is called fasting mimicking. And I'd love to explain what it is, share my experience, that way you can see if it's something that you'd be interested in trying. So let's start by giving a rundown of what the fasting mimicking diet actually is. You eat mainly vegetables and fats while remaining in a major calorie and protein deficit, which in turn tricks your body into thinking you're fasting. When you're following a traditional diet with normal calories and protein, your body activates mTOR. But with the fasting mimicking diet, that pathway is completely eliminated. So you're tricking your body into thinking that you're completely fasting when you're not. And to accomplish this, you wanna keep your calories within a certain limit with most of your calories coming from carbs and fats and very minimum coming from protein. And this diet is usually followed for five days. The benefits of this diet are incredible, which include autophagy, which is the rejuvenation and regeneration of stem cells and the removal of any unnecessary or damaged cell components. And of course, all the benefits of being in a caloric deficit and in ketosis. So now I wanna share with you, how did my experience grow? What did I eat? and what were my results. So let's jump right in. So before starting any diet, you know you have to weigh yourself. So my starting weight before starting the diet was 178.6 pounds. The first day of the fasting mimicking diet is kind of like a transitional day. Your body has to get acclimated to the drastic changes in calories and protein. So your goal would be to consume around 1,000 calories the first day with 450 calories coming from carbs, 450 calories coming from fats, and around 25 grams of total proteins. It's also best to completely eliminate caffeine, but I normally consume about 500 milligrams a day. I didn't want to deal with all the caffeine withdrawals, so I just limited it to one cup of organic coffee every morning. So my routine for this diet was the same every morning. I weighed myself, had two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, which helps activate autophagy. Then I had one cup of black organic coffee with a half teaspoon of Truvia. And this is what I ate on the first day of the diet. For breakfast, a cucumber salad. For lunch, I had a carrot walnut soup. And for dinner, I had another serving of the carrot walnut soup. I had 10 grams of organic kale chips and I had one pumpkin flaxseed muffin, which I topped with homemade macadamia nut butter. I also made a slushy with BCAAs and raspberry ketones. Raspberry ketones help put your body into ketosis faster. And I took the BCAAs to try to help me hold on to as much muscle as possible. And I had the BCAA raspberry ketone drink twice. I also had some caffeine free tea. I had that twice the first day as well. So the first day was by far the toughest day. I was so worn out and lethargic. It definitely was a lot tougher than I expected. My total calories for the first day was 738, which was below target, but I hit fats too soon, so I just called it a day. So days two through five, you wanna drop the calories to about 725 to 750, with 350 calories coming from carbs, 350 calories coming from fats, and around 18 to 20 grams of protein. I started my morning the same way, weighed myself, and shockingly lost 3.4 pounds, and then followed it with my usual routine, apple cider vinegar, black coffee. For breakfast, I had a pumpkin flaxseed muffin. For lunch, I had a curry cauliflower soup. And for dinner, I had a salad with some beets and garden vegetables. And I had enough macros left to have another pumpkin flaxseed muffin and 10 grams of organic plain kale chips. I also had the BCAA ketone drink twice that day and I had the caffeine free tea twice that day. I was under calories again because I hit fats too soon so I just cut the calories at 581. But I was so tired and exhausted I fell asleep super early. Day three started the same, weighed myself, I was down 1.2 pounds. I had apple cider vinegar, black coffee. For breakfast, I had a, another pumpkin flaxseed muffin. For lunch, I had the rest of the beet salad 
with the garden vegetables. And for dinner, I had zucchini noodle pasta with some fresh vegetables. And half a serving of the curry cauliflower soup. And 20 grams of organic plain kale chips. I also had the BCAA ketone drink twice that day and caffeine free tea twice that day. The third day was the first day that I didn't have any headaches, which was nice. I was under calories again, and I clearly have a problem with hitting my fats too soon. I've been doing keto for too long, I guess. But one of the best parts about this diet for me, I was so exhausted at night, I fell right asleep. On the fourth day, weighed myself. This was the least amount of weight I lost. I only lost 0.8 pounds. And then of course, I had the apple cider vinegar and the black coffee. This day for breakfast, I made some banana cocoa pancakes, which I regret because they had way too many calories and way too many fats, and it really limited the foods I could eat for the rest of the day. For lunch, I had an avocado soup, which had tons of water and broth in it, so it was really filling. And then for dinner, I had another beet salad with the garden vegetables, but this version didn't have any avocado because I couldn't spare the fats and I had 10 grams of kale chips. And this day I had the BCAA ketone drink twice and caffeine free tea once. My total calories for this day was 676, but I hit my targeted protein and fats, so I just called it a day. Day five, I weighed myself in the morning and I was down two pounds. Had the normal routine, apple cider vinegar, organic black coffee. So by the fifth day, I got a lot smarter about managing my fats and proteins. That way I could squeeze in as much food as possible. So for breakfast, I had pumpkin flaxseed muffins. And for lunch, I had the rest of the beet salad with the garden vegetables with no avocado. And for dinner, I had a serving of the carrot walnut soup. Another flaxseed muffin. A serving of frozen mixed berry chia seed pudding. 10 grams of kale chips. And I had the BCAA ketone drink three times that day. And I had the caffeine free tea twice. My total calories for the day was 627. And I pretty much hit my target protein, carbs, and fat. And surprisingly, it was my worst night of sleep throughout the whole diet. Maybe because I was excited to go back to normal life. I don't know. On the morning of day six, I weighed in at 170.8 pounds, which the camera died as I was filming my final weigh in. Go figure but I'll put a screenshot from the scale, which tracks your body metrics, so you'll be able to see that on screen. So the total weight loss was 7.8 pounds in five days, which I was not expecting. So these are my final thoughts about the fasting mimicking diet. So considering I dropped eight pounds in five days, cured some nagging ailments, and hopefully induced a lot of autophagy, would I do this diet again? Honestly, maybe, but not anytime soon. I think it's always good to have a reset, and I love a good challenge, but I'm still used to being high energy high functioning and super productive that for those five days, I really didn't feel like I was at my best. I've read other people's testimonials to where they had the opposite effect, to where they had a lot of mental clarity and a lot of energy. I'm guessing that the fact that I started at a relatively low body fat, there really wasn't a lot of reserve fat to recruit for energy. Overall, I think it would work great to get into ketosis fast, to lose body weight fast, and to induce autophagy. The meals were actually really good and had a lot of volume. And getting on the scale every morning and seeing drastic changes was actually really motivating. But overall, hope they shed some light for those who never heard of the fasting mimicking diet, those that were considering it, or those that want the benefits of completely fasting, but looking for a more manageable approach. If you do wanna try this diet, save the video and use it for reference. I think this video will be a good resource to guide you on your journey. That way we can suffer together. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section or send me a message. I really wanted to try and share my experiences because if I can do it, anybody can. And if you do try this diet, let me know how it's going, what were your results, and if you need any extra motivation, I'll try to help you out. If you know someone who may be interested in the fasting mimicking diet, please share this video. And if you're curious about what I normally eat on a keto diet, check out this full day of eating video here. And for all my recipe videos that are under one minute, check out this bite-sized playlist. And for future content, please subscribe. And of course, until next time, keep it classy, keep it keto. Keto Craft Kitchen, out.